Hey, what's up you guys? Um, oh shit, I do not say hey, what's up you guys? <laughs> Hello my strong strong friends today. We are doing part two of my sprinters uh, Olympic sprinters workout and This is the portion where we're gonna go to the gym So if you want to check out me sprinting be sure to see on my last video the one posted on Tuesday I do okay. I don't do terrible. I do okay Be sure to check that one out and if you enjoy any part of this video be sure to give it a like uh, and if you're not already subscribed Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss uh, my videos. Okay, without further ado, we're gonna get to the gym. We're gonna try some explosive movements. Some movements that are gonna seem familiar to you watching if you've seen my other videos and some movements that I haven't done in quite some time. So it's gonna be really fun. Okay, let's go to the gym. Okay guys, we're in the gym. We're gonna get started with some power cleans. So this is something that I see track and field athletes do all the time. It's a powerful and explosive movement. Um, I was asking right and we were talking a little bit about why track and field athletes, you're more likely to see them do a power movement than to do a full weightlifting movement. So a squat clean, if you will. It's just a regular clean. It's not a squat clean, but a squat clean is what CrossFitters call it. Uh, no shape, just saying. Uh, a regular clean is one where you're getting into um, the full bottom position of a clean as a weightlifter would so that they can lift more weight so that they can get under it. So. We're actually not going to be throwing our bodies under the barbell. Instead, we're going to be focused on lifting the bar and getting as much extension as possible to get into that power clean movement. Now, if a power clean seems, if you want to follow this workout and a power clean seems impossible to you, you could also try just some hang pulls and work on that triple extension that you'll see. Um, maybe we can show a good video of what triple extension is there. Try to work on that explosiveness so that you're shrugging up and pulling the bar as high as you can. It's completely normal, uh, if you've never tried this before, to look at a clean and think that it's crazy and it looks crazy. Um, so, unless you're getting coaching, maybe you might wanna just try a regular clean pull. So that's an option, if you wanna try this. I have weight lifted before, so I'm gonna do my power cleans. Haven't done this in a long time. When I have competed in weightlifting, the only kind of clean I know how to do though is a power clean. <laughs> Ain't that right, babe? He's grimacing. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get started. Uh, we'll do some, start with some power cleans. Before I get started with the movement, I'm gonna start off with a empty barbell workout. So I'm gonna do some RDLs, upright rows, overhead press, and some front squats. Super easy, of course I wanna warm up first before I get started, as I did in the sprint workout. Okay. The workout that was written is five by five power cleans. I do want to note that you can make a couple different variations, especially if it's something new to you. You could try lower reps where you're doing three in case it seems like technically hard, especially to keep five reps all together. Try three or just do a lot of technique work to try a new movement. You can also do these from the hang. I'm going to see what feels best for me, but I would assume uh, since the bottom position or that wouldn't be the bottom position, would it? It'd be the starting position. It tends to be one of the hardest technical pulls and not the most explosive pull. Um, you might want to just start from the hang so that you're- Or blocks. Like, or blocks, or blocks, yeah. So those are all totally possible. It's up to you, it's your workout. How's that? 
putting some weight on the bar. I'm just gonna keep putting weight on the bar until um, get to work in sets. When it's so light, you don't feel like it's explosive, right? So I need to be heavy. Strong bitch, not sad. Should I do full? How about I do full, full, hang, hang, hang? How about that? Yeah. Come on, extend, up. is because no gym is made, even though the gym that I'm at is really, really good, no gym is made for a girl to bench. For anyone to bench on this one, it sucks. See how narrow this is? How am I supposed to tuck my shoulders on this? And also, the four choices that I have, I can barely, barely reach this one. I'm actually taking my grip in so that it's a close grip bench. That's why I'm not going so, so heavy today. And also I can't tuck my shoulders. So it's kind of tough. I can't wait to like have my own gym where I can kind of curate everything and make it so that it's mine so that it fits for me. Also, I'll just have so much more consistency with training. We're always traveling, we're always on the go. But yeah, I can't wait. No shade at this gym. This gym is awesome. They have the son of the owners of this gym is a really, really competitive powerlifter. But he can bench on this bench over here. Although, I feel like his arms are probably the same. See, this one is much wider, but this safety here is far too short for me. And then this here is far too tall. So, yeah, that's my dilemma. I've been programming out bench press for the most part and doing bench, um, just dumbbell bench press. So I haven't really been consistently benching for the past three months. Great. Okay, done with the lifting that was hard but kind of easy for me. And on to this circuit that has a lot of moves that I haven't done in a while and also it's gonna be really breathy. So pray for your girl. I'm gonna do, I'll show you guys one round of the entire circuit. It's a ton of exercises, so write this down or in the description below, we'll write everything out for you. Um, you're gonna do, start with chin-ups, then move on to jump squats. So I'm gonna do jump squats with holding a plate. Um, then we're gonna go back on the bar for hanging knee raise, then reverse lunge with a knee, knee drive and then on to push-ups and then the last thing we'll do a heavy uh, kettlebell carry with a counter so it's like a suitcase and a waiter so one one down by your side one above your head okay a lot there so make sure you write everything down and yeah this should be fun let me know if you guys ever try this circuit um, a good thing to incorporate if you're a power lifter incorporate this into your Work out at the end. It's not as high intensity, but it's still a lot of work. Um, so you can get a good workout. See how I feel after it. 
I can only do five here. Probably do six. With chin ups. Good. Nice. All right, turn to jump squats. Hanging knee raises. All right, straight to reverse lunges. Oh my God. Come on. Going. Push ups. Carry. Do there and back and then switch and then there and back again. Three minutes. Oh god. How many rounds? Okay, do three rounds of that. Rest in between if you need to. I'm gonna take a minute to catch my breath. Especially rest because those chin-ups are pretty hard to get through. Um, and I tried to go to close-ish to failure. So do that, push it, and we'll see you in the next round. I hope that you guys enjoy this video of me trying a little bit of a different workout. Most athletes train with compound movements that are gonna make them really strong sprinters included. Of course, people always show that comparison of a distance runner to a sprinter. They're usually a little bit more uh, muscular in the lower body, of course. A little bit stronger, more explosive of an athlete. So if you like that look or want to train like a sprinter, um, know that uh, you're probably going to be best suited to do that if you pack on some muscle mass. And of course, I preach it all the time. The best way to do that is to run a legit program that utilizes some sort of progression. You're adding weight on the bar every week. Um, so make sure that you're doing that. Of course, check out my programs. I have free programs on my site. Or if you're ready to jump off the deep end, we have a bunch of programs available on the site right now. Friday's the last day um, for the sale. So get in on it. And I'll see you in the next one. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that. And like this video if you enjoyed any part. Okay, ready? We'll close out to me. Going to failure. Cheers. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Just repeat this.